For a long time, sudden infant death syndrome has simply been a tragedy. A baby under one dies with no reason. Parents are left wondering and having the guilt of what else they could have done. Health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke with a family in Spring who lives with this about how the discovery of a brain defect that is likely the cause of SIDS finally gives them some peace. Baby Samuel died on Mother's Day 2020 at seven weeks old. Parents Brianna and Aaron Chaplin sat down with me back then and their honesty has weighed on my heart for years. Did I hold him long enough in the room? I don't remember what he smells like anymore. <laughs> Now, researchers in Sydney have confirmed an enzyme that's significantly lower in babies who died of SIDS. And the reason that enzyme is significant is because it plays a major role in waking someone up when they stop breathing, meaning that low enzyme could be the reason why SIDS happens. I asked Brianna today if that discovery helps. I finally have answers in a sense, like knowing that there's nothing differently I could have done as his mother to prevent this. For years, March of Dimes and the entire medical community have encouraged safe sleep habits to prevent SIDS. While this research doesn't change those recommendations, it does show the parents whose babies still died despite the best safety precautions. It wasn't their fault. And Brianna hopes it will lead to an end of SIDS for all families. So now we have more of a definite answer that this is the cause. I'm curious to see what preventative measures can be done in the future if they're going to do screenings, um, if they can find something to help with that. So if you, you know, if they do have a deficiency, is that something that can be um, managed if it's detected early? As a reminder, the current recommendations to reduce the chances of SIDS are put your baby to sleep alone on their back, keep soft, loose bedding away, don't sleep in a carrier sling, car seat, or stroller, don't smoke or allow others to smoke around your baby, remove any hanging window cords or electrical wires that babies can get tangled in, and breastfeeding and pacifiers are also thought to help. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.